Shakopee man has never been to the Space Needle or the Eiffel Tower, but he's helped build them both out of toothpicks. It was a way for Jerry Hackett to pass the time in retirement, but it turned into much more. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lawrence shows us how Jerry has built some of the world's most recognizable structures, one toothpick at a time. I'll wake up at night and I get, I'm running through my head how to do something. Most people use toothpicks to get food out of their teeth or to stab appetizers at dinner parties. I like to do it to scale as near as possible. But Jerry Hackett sees this tiny stick of wood as a puzzle piece for something bigger and better. It's kind of always on my mind. It's getting so it's too much on my mind. For decades, it was gardening that captured Jerry's attention. But when he and his wife downsized, they moved to a place where gardening was no longer an option. That's when the idea for a new hobby hopped into his head. Years ago, when the kids were in school, they had projects with toothpicks, and I'd help them with them. He began with bridges. Before retirement, he worked for a company that built steel structures, so it was a natural start. But as a perfectionist, Jerry was all about exact measurements. I got to shorten them up. And dimensions. See, I cut pieces ahead that I think I'll need. He went so far as to call the city of Duluth to get drawings for the Duluth lift bridge. You like the designs. That's what you're right. looking for when you look at a bridge. Right. Something that's a little different. It wasn't long before he graduated to world-famous landmarks, from Ferris wheels with chairs that swing, to Seattle's famous Space Needle, and then France's renowned Eiffel Tower. Jerry has never seen them up close, but yet he knows them like the back of his hand. If you're not going to visit, you can yeah. create it. Yep. See, that's how I fit stuff. Some of his projects take a month or more to make, built with toothpicks, glue, and a whole lot of geometry. It's just mind-boggling to me how he can even do this. I go down the hall and kind of watch him a little bit and I just kind of shake my head and I think, wow. His architecture is so impressive that it's been put on display. Now Jerry is taking on his biggest challenge yet, St. Mark's Catholic Church in Shakopee. I'm trying to figure out how to make all this right here. Has become his Sistine Chapel. And it was built in the 1800s and it's Got a, it isn't just a box. There's a lot of pilasters and reinforced walls and stuff. He's already done his research and created a game plan. That'll go all the way around. The project could take well over 10,000 toothpicks before it's all said and done. But there's no shortage of patience and determination. If Jerry has learned anything, it's that it's okay to be picky oh, darn it. when working towards perfection. I'll end up, I'll have to do another one. In Shakopee, I'm hooked. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Jerry says someday he'd like to make the Golden Gate Bridge. The only problem is he isn't entirely sure if it would fit inside his house. Well, know of a person or place John should know about? You can send him your Finding Minnesota ideas at wccocom links.